you have had the spirit of the concubine on your life I need to pray this off of you so you can be a wife okay and also the perversion that entered into the family bloodline all around will be yanked out and purity will enter back in I want to speak to the spirit inside of her that's been uh -uh, talk how long have you been in her body speak uh -uh -uh. Be free. Oh, catch, catch, catch. Oh, catch, catch, yep. Come off of her. Right now. Every spirit of torment, every spirit of death, and every spirit that's attacking her body, causing inflammation, I command it to be loose from her now. Olivia, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Watch her, watch her. There's a demon in you, girl. Come here. We're going to cast that thing out. Uh uh. It's over. Come on, come on, come on. Stay right here. What's your name? Abigail. Miguel? Abigail. Abigail. It's a good name, Abigail. Sounds biblical. Listen. There is a demonic spirit that has been tormenting you, causing self hatred. Even had you in a season of your life where you wanted to end everything. I saw that by the spirit. I saw you in your crib when you were younger. Is this your daughter? I saw her in her crib when she was younger. And I saw when she was in the crib, there was a visitation. There was an opening within the family. Where is the dad? He's at home. Okay. Are y'all married? There was an opening in the family that caused a spirit. I let a spirit come and afflict her when she was young. That's why you've seen this battle of torment in her mind. But what's going to happen today is she's going to be set free. I heard the spirit of the Lord say she's going to worship him in song she will worship him in song the Lord is going to anoint your vo voice and vocal cords to sing for him in Jesus name be free come out of her life you unclean spirit from the night that came in when she was young you will not kill her you will not take her out leave her body in Jesus name come out of her all the way mighty name of Jesus the mighty name of Jesus is a uh, marriage in the future it's not up to you, right? I don't know. He's still married, but separated. Oh, he's married. Separated. He's still not divorced. These are your children, not his? This is our, our daughter together. Oh. So this has been a long time. Mm -hmm. Oof. I'm not meaning to put your business all out there. I kind of get stuck in these places, it's though. It's okay. We need something supernatural to happen. Yeah. Okay. Because listen, there was a time in the Bible where men were not divorcing and getting another woman. And then men were continuing to commit adultery. I'm just teaching you the word. That is what it means by to continue to commit adultery because there was no certificate of divorce given. So even if you don't want to be in second place, you still get put in second place. This is what I believe the Lord is going to do. Can I prophesy something to you? Prophesy. Now, it might not be the happiest prophecy to you, but just let me do it. Nobody get mad at me. But I have to say this. There is going to be a separation that's going to happen. But it's not a separation forever. The Lord has to get things to change so he can get the attention and get the man to become the man. Because you can't force him to become the man. He's not listening to you or nobody. Pride comes before a fall, a haughty spirit before destruction. Uh, a pride comes before destruction, a haughty spirit before, before the fall. Thank you, my wife is helping me. But you need to be in first place. You have had the spirit of the concubine on your life. I need to pray this off of you so you can be a wife. Okay. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and you are a wife you're not second place okay. see King Solomon had wives and he had concubines you started that way and he loves you he took you but you can't connect your hearts and in intimacy the way that you need to because there's a spiritual block yeah and by the way I'm not only speaking to you there's somebody else in this room that needs to hear what I'm saying now 
And there's somebody online too that needs to hear what I'm saying. Amen. I'm not doing this to shame you. I'm doing this to show you the Lord is about to step into your life and make you a wife. He's going to step into your life and he's going to get that man and make him the man of God he's supposed to be. I heard a time in my heart. I heard this is going to start fast. And I saw one month, two month, three month. The Lord is going to start speaking to the man. He's going to start trying to get his attention. And believe it or not, he's been watching everything. And the Lord has been knocking at his heart. He is going to be given a time to make things right. Because the ball is in his court. And he can do it. But your life, regardless, now I'm about to prophesy something out. Your life, regardless of the outcome of anybody else's choices, Mm -hmm. you will still walk out your God-given call and destiny because you love the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And your children will serve the Lord. Amen. And they will not walk the way that you walk. And also the perversion that entered into the family bloodline all around will be yanked out and purity will enter back in. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Amen. We love Jesus. Stand forth, woman of God. Today the Lord calls you a wife, not second place, not a mistress, none of those things. You are a woman of integrity. You are a woman of prayer and honor. Today the Lord affirms that in your life and he's going to correct every wrong, crooked path in your life. Be free. The truth shall set you free free amen now be loosed from every wicked tormenting attack against you your family and your bloodline now out of her life in the mighty name of jesus be loosed from this wicked spirit that had come against you for so long yeah come out come out you seducing serpent yeah you seducing serpent come out of her you were manipulated You were twisted into things you should have never been twisted into. I break its power of the serpent, this power of this serpent now. Come out of her mouth. Jesus' name. Hey, somebody help me out here in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. And come off of her back too. She's getting free. Amen. I break the marriage in the spirit. Now, I break the marriage in the spirit. I know you've been married to her a long time and you don't want to let her go. Today I divorce you from her life. Now come out of her. Stop messing with her. Stop messing with her. It's over. It's over. I cancel the covenant. I cancel things done in the family now. In Jesus name. You will no longer be married to this spirit. Now be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. It's over. It's over. I want y'all to stand her up. I want to speak to this thing. Stand up, woman of God. I want to speak to this thing. Stand up. Look at me. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look, look. Look at me. I want to speak to the spirit inside of her. That's been, uh uh-uh, talk. What are you doing to her? Huh? What are you doing to her? Huh? How long have you been in her body? Speak. I know you don't want to talk. You're going to talk today. Uh, 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 uh. Stand up straight. Now talk to me now. How long have you been in her body? Huh? How long? How long? Hmm? Since birth, yes or no? Since birth, yes or no? Yes or no? Have you been there since birth? Huh? Did you come? No. Did you come through her, her, the man she's with now? Yes or no? Huh? I think that means yes, huh? Is that how you got in? Huh? Found her body. Stand up. Stand up, demon. Stand up. This is a this is a typical seducing spirit. They love to they love to throw fits. Stop throwing a fit. And I know you were in her since she was a child, because I can tell how you're acting. 
Now, what happened to her as a child? Did you come in as a child? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? You've been there since a child, huh? Yeah. Did something happen to her in her childhood? Did somebody do something to her? Huh? Yes? Uh, that's where it is. The thing that happened to her as a child. I command it to be canceled. I command it to be broken now. Now come out of her body. Everything from the childhood. Come out of her body. Now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything from what happened to her as a child. I break its power now. Come all the way up. All the way. All the way. All the pain. All the tears. Listen, Mama, the Lord is also going to restore the years you didn't even get to live as a child. The Lord is going to restore what was lost as a child. You're going to get your years back. There's a lot of trauma. There's a lot of pain that nobody knew about. It's all right. That nobody knew about. The Lord is healing and restoring all the years that were taken. Because you hear the cries, that's the cries of a little girl. That's the cries of a girl that well, things were taken. That's why I was thinking something was done wrong to her because of the cries. There's a lot of deep, deep pain there that the Lord is healing. All right, TSNL family, we're here in Midland, Texas. And I have here an amazing family that came out to Day One Revival. So I want to ask you, what's your name? Olivia. Olivia? Linda. Linda? Abigail. Abigail. Wow, wow, wow. So how did you guys hear about... TSNL, the ministry, in your own words, quickly. I, I heard it from my mom. She's very spiritual with everything. Yes? Yeah. So you're um, the mom, I guess? No, um, mm -hmm. my sister, which is her mom. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, this, and that's my daughter. And your daughter, yes. you heard about it yeah. through mom? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Awesome. So now, man of God located you during the service. Mm -hmm. I want to know what took place throughout the service. Amen? Um, deliverance. Uh, I felt... Uh, the Holy Spirit uh, worked through Daniel, and it's just deliverance that I needed for a lot of years already. So tonight I got to get a lot of things off my chest, and it felt so good. Wow. Was that your first time going through deliverance? Yeah, first time. Wow. Did you expect to react that way? No, I didn't. I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> I mean, listen, we have skeptics that watch our channel. Some people, they think it's fake. They, they don't think yeah. it's real. Do you, was that an act that you were doing? No, no, no right? it was real. <laughs> well, guys, you hear it, man. Demons are real, guys. The pop God is real. So do you, how do you feel? How do you feel? I feel great. I feel um, lighter. I feel oh, like I had got a lot of things off my chest. I just feel better. Wow. I feel now, better. Now, I noticed the man of God, he started speaking about your life and mm -hmm. have you ever talked to him before or messaged him personally about your life and shared things about your life um no no i haven't <laughs> so you know that was fully the holy spirit yeah. speaking to you yes i know it was the holy spirit because i felt it wow wow <laughs> wow so what is one thing you can tell the people the viewers that are watching that's probably maybe they're praying God, should I attend one of these revivals? Should I join to become a foreigner? What's one thing you can say to them, people that are just doubting? Um, don't doubt because God is real, the Holy Spirit is real, and Jesus is real. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Y'all heard it. Simple as that. Jesus is alive. He's still the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Thank y'all for sharing. Do you, you all want to share a little bit about what God took? What, what happened? I, I seen he, he laid hands on you and you fell out. So... For people that think this is fake, I, trust me, I know our generation thinks that it's really like not fake. Like they see it, we see it and we're like, oh, we don't really think much about it. But I'm, I'm going to be honest, I didn't believe it in it either. And I, 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 there's no words that can describe it. I mean, and I'm very, very, I'm a person that's kind of off. I just, I spectate. And if you're a spectator, I encourage you to just trust, trust. That's all I ask. And just go. 
<laughs> wow, that's awesome. Was that your first time experiencing deliverance? Wow. What about you? You want to share a little bit? Um, it just, it just felt good. Like I have never experienced it, and then I was like, I don't know. It just felt good. You're just overwhelmed. You just seem overwhelmed with the peace of God. Come on, guys. Families are being restored here in Midland, Texas. This is just the beginning. Thank you guys for sharing your testimony. Amen. Y'all heard it here, guys. Stay tuned. If you're not a forerunner, become a forerunner. What are you waiting for? God wants to use you. All right, guys. God bless you.